Hello. So it's our annual weekly walk annual about, weekly sit walk about, about sit about, think about. It. Cassie, you just had an interesting case. Uh, the lady that rang up, and she thought she was she was drinking her ultra stream water, and she thought, and her urine was more acidic, and she was worried. She was. She was worried because she thought she might be losing good minerals coming out of the urine. What did you say to her? I said, um, well, if there's any minerals coming out, it won't be the ones that you really need for your bones. But more likely it's going to be uric acid that's coming out of your system. Yeah. So, so the water's actually causing uh, her kidneys to function very, very well. Lots of uric acid coming out. Which is good because, you know, obviously there's a bit of a build-up in there. If it's becoming more acidic after drinking a ultra stream water, then there's probably some that needs to come out. And I heard you talking about K2 as well. Yeah. Because she's got very bad osteoporosis and... You and I have had a lot of experience with that now, because he yeah. has it. We well, have. Yeah, you're a bit of a uh, missionary. I'm a missionary. You, you adopt the missionary. I'm a K2, K2 missionary. Um, so, yeah, I just said to her, look, you know, you need to take 45 milligrams of K2 a day, 15 milligrams three times a day, and that's really what's turning your osteoporosis around. Yeah, it is. It is. And that's tested, isn't it? That, that's, it's not like a theory. That's a Japanese study, and it yeah. was done on old folks. On old folks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And no, it works. Not like me. No, a no. bit older than you. Okay. Yeah. Alright, cool. So, Maybe. I've got a couple of things to play with here. Look at this. What's it look like Coca-Cola? It's not. That is Japanese hydrogen water. In a can, you can buy it in a can. You can have it, you can have orange or some other funny flavour or natural. Uh, and it's not bad. Of course, the pro problem is it's still in a can. Uh, you can't put hydrogen water in plastic because the hydrogen goes straight through the plastic. The, the people What's wrong with the can? What's wrong with the can? Mm. It's just lots and lots of cans. Oh, okay, yeah. Right? So if you're going to drink, too. yeah, well, if you're going to drink, you, if you're going to get your hydrogen water out of that, as compared to an ultra stream, and you're going to oh, drink a couple okay. of litres a day, yes. that's about six cans. Of course. Yeah. Okay, and that's yeah. on the heap. This is the other way the Japanese have tried to do it. See this little sachet? They call it H4O. Uh, it's supposed to have a very low millivoltage of AWP in there. We all know what AWP is, don't we? Um, but I tested it. It's not very good. But again, see that the sachet, the idea is to keep the hydrogen in. Because this is the amazing thing. And we've now seen lots and lots of uh, hydrogen generation methods. And the ultra stream is fabulous, frankly. But the key is you drink your water. When the hydrogen is in the water, you don't let it sit in there for ages, so you get it into you as fast as you can. Yep. Um, the, here's a few other little things because people are asking us about this all the time. This is, the, well, I'm not going to open it. That's the Alka sachets. Uh, and there's sachets you can put into water. They, they have magnesium in the sachet. Uh, they will generate some hydrogen, but, but really they're a magnesium and, uh, and an alkalizing method. One sachet will do at least 100 litres of water. So. Look at this, you've got this, you get a bit of, a bit of hydrogen in that, nothing else. You get your magnesium and your uh, alkalizing in this. And so you get, I think you get six sachets in here, <laughs> 600 litres, three 44 what about gallons. Hydrogen? Of, and hydrogen. Yeah, anywhere magnesium reacts with water, you get some hydrogen. Okay. The difference here always is if you're putting into a glass and you, you've got your sachet in the glass, well, hydrogen is going to go out at the top. So, right. The answer is, of course, you seal put it into a bottle and you seal the bottle and you, you let it work for a while, mm, okay? Yeah. They're slower than, than otherwise, but very good value. Um, funnily enough, we call them Alka sachets. Uh, there's another one sold in health food shops for alkalizing, but man, that's just calcium. It doesn't do any hydrogen. That's uh -huh, the that's okay, good. yep. Um, this is a new product coming. I'm not going to talk too much about that. This is a thing I've been playing with using uh, Australian magnesium chloride and I've been filling this up and emptying it for months now and every day I fill it up and empty it I put some pH reagent in there. And that's that, why it's purple. That's why it's purple. It, it goes to about pH 10. It's very very effective for alkalizing not for hydrogenating. Um, these things will leave. They're, they're funny little toys. My desk is covered, covered with gizmos isn't it? The mad professor's desk. So there's a little bit to think about this week. Um, I, Cassie's moved a desk closer to me, close, close to me. <laughs> so we, you know, I'm hearing lots of the things she's telling people, and I love listening to her because she's not bad looking, but she's very smart. Okay, have a great week.